everyone, for sequence, the sum of the first n terms is n squared plus 2n. We're going to find the value of n such that our sequence equals 300. The sum of our uh, terms equals 300. So basically, we're going to look for uh, when n is greater than or equal to 2. So if we look at case 1, this is when n is greater than or equal to 2. And what we want to do is find our nth term. So your nth term is going to be your sum of n minus your sum of n minus 1. And what I mean by that is, say you have a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub, let's say, 9 plus a sub 10. And then uh, a sub 10 is your last term, right? So that's your basically your last term. So to get this term, and we have the sum formula here, um, what you can do is take the sum of the whole thing minus the sum of the n minus 1. This one would be uh, a sub n minus 1 and get this last term. So that's what we're doing here since uh, with the information we're given. So basically, uh, using our formula, uh, this one's going to be n squared plus 2n minus, and then you use this one um, and just substitute in your n minus 1. So this is going to be n minus 1 squared plus 2n minus 1, um, like that. All right, so let's simplify all this. We're going to get n squared plus uh, 2n. This is n squared minus 2n plus 1. So it's minus n squared plus 2n minus 1. This is 2n minus 2. So that's going to be minus 2n uh, plus 2. All right, and all that's going to equal. This goes away. This one goes away with this. So basically, this whole thing equals 2n plus 1. Now, let's just double check our case 2, and that's when n equals 1. When n equals 1, you're going to put a substitute in 1. You're going to get 1 squared plus 2 times 1 equals 3. Now, if you substitute in 1 in here, you get 2 times 1 plus 1. That also equals 3. So since these two uh, work out together, that means our nth term is uh, 2n plus 1. And that includes when n equals 1, or n is greater than or equal to 1. All right. Now that we have that, we need to check our this term here. So we have this, and we want to write that. All right, let's do that. So we have uh, a sub n equals 2n plus 1, and that includes uh, 1 as well. All right, so basically uh, a sub 2n minus 1 equals, using your formula, everywhere there's an n, we're going to uh, substitute in 2n minus 1. So this is going to be 2 times 2n minus 1 and plus 1, which equals 4n minus 1. So that's what this is going to be. All right, so now when you add all your uh, terms up together, this is going to equal, and we're going to use um, this formula here, this equals n, and then we're going to have um, 3 plus 4n minus 1, because remember 3 is your first term, let's write that, 3 is your first term, all right, all divided by 2, and this is your last term, I'm actually using this formula, whoopsie, all right, so basically this is going to equal, um, n times uh, 4n plus 2 divided by 2, which gives you n times 2n plus 1. All right. When you simplify this, we're going to get um, 2n squared plus n 
equals, uh, and then we want to add our 300. All right, simplifying this, we get 2n squared plus n minus 300 uh, equals 0. So I'm going to just factor this. It's going to be n minus 12 times 2n plus 25. And uh, this is going to set it to 0 now. So we get n equals 12. Uh, we, for this one, this would be n equals negative 25 divided by 2, but we have to disregard this because uh, n has to be greater than or equal to 1. So basically, uh, our n equals 12. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.